welcome to the show. So, what's been happening? Well, the Tories' budget was so bad, it nearly broke the country. If any sign were needed of emergency, this is it. The Bank of England forced to intervene to calm the economic crisis. Emergency help was needed, especially to protect pension funds. Will today be remembered as the day this Conservative government lost its economic credibility? Yes! <laughs> Everything she touches turns to shit. Think about it. Since Liz Truss took charge, the economy's tanked, the Queen's died, and, <laughs> and England were relegated from the nation's league. <laughs> now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying that she is a devil brought down to destroy the world. <laughs> but she's got the same laugh. <laughs> The country's on its knees. I give it a week before Big Ben collapses, Lorraine Kelly joins ISIS, and turds <laughs> are falling from the sky. <laughs> I mean, things are so bad that journalists are asking questions like this. It's time to ask, is it OK to eat squirrel? <laughs> Squirrels! <laughs> Three weeks of Liz Truss and we're eating roadkill. <laughs> Are we here? Spring Watch is meant to be a telly show, not a fucking buffet. <laughs> you think oh, I'm shocked? This guy couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, did Liz apologise? No, she hid. Where is Liz Truss? No idea. We haven't seen the Prime Minister. You can run Prime Minister, but you can't hide. The moment she appears to be hiding. Check your shed, you never know. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not making this up, apparently they found her in her office like this. This <laughs> 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 went that way! It's such a mess. Because of the budget, the pound crashed, mortgages were withdrawn, pensions nearly disappeared, and when the Chancellor needed to reassure the country, he did this. What, what conversation are you having with the Bank of England, sir? Do you have anything to say about what's going on, sir? <laughs> say something! <laughs> People are terrified and you're quieter than a man who's just been asked the question, do you prefer my hair up or down? <laughs> when Liz Truss finally emerged, she couldn't understand basic questions. How many people voted for your plan? What do you mean by that? <laughs> she means... How many people... <laughs> voted for your plan? <laughs> she wasn't finished. Listen to this. I get up every morning as Prime Minister thinking, how can we make our country more successful? I've got an idea. Resign. <laughs> Just... oh. right. Either that or stand by a hungry family dressed as a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> this was the moment of the interview. Are you absolutely committed to abolishing the 45 pence tax rate for the wealthiest people in the country? Yes. Yes! I will never abandon my tax cut. This lady's not for turning. I will never bend! <laughs> never! <laughs> and what happened the next day? Liz Truss is U-turning and ditching plans to cut the top rate of income tax. One of the most spectacular policy U-turns of modern times. <laughs> it was massive. And rather than take responsibility, the Tories said things like this. It's not a U-turn, Alison, it's a change of direction. <laughs> a U-turn and a change in direction are the same thing. I'm not reversing, I'm going backwards. <laughs> I'm not having an affair. My penis is exploring different vaginas. <laughs> 
it's no wonder that, according to the latest YouGov poll, the Tory party would win just three seats under Liz Truss if the election was held today. They'd go from 357 seats to three. Three! She's going to put more Tories out of work than cocaine and porn. <laughs> like, it's brutal, man. <laughs> be... Three. Three! They'll be rocking up to Parliament like this. <laughs> <laughs> Things have got so bad, people are already predicting her downfall. Liz Truss has arrived at her first Conservative conference as Prime Minister, with speculation there already about whether it could be her last. I'm not surprised, man. Did you see the protests in Birmingham? Tories come out of Rome! Tories come out of Rome! Tories come out of Rome! And one lady hit her really hard. <laughs> And your handbags crap at all! <laughs> I don't know if you watched the Tory party conference, but they were clearly trying to get this message across. I think what we've seen today is a government that has listened. We are listening and have listened. And I think they've listened. But the Prime Minister's listening. This is a listening government. And I have listened. They might have been listening, but the crowd were clearly doing something else. While in England we have now virtually eliminated waits of over two years, we are speeding up our plans to roll out <laughs> community <laughs> diagnostic centres as well as we have to do. Now, do you know what caught my eye about the conference? This. Condoms bearing Tory slogans were pulled from the Conservative Party conference out of respect for the Queen. <laughs> what? Like... How about you respect the country she loved? Like, that's going to have an effect on the royal family. Like, King Charles is going to go, oh, thank God they've gone bareback! <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, so well. Tory party condoms. Can you imagine the slogans? You turn me on. <laughs> like the pound, I go down. Wait, 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 wait. My personal favourite, it's doing Moggy Stars. The Tories are struggling, but Labour, they're having the time of their lives. One opinion poll putting Labour a record 33 points ahead. The biggest for any party since the 1990s. If there was an election tomorrow, then yeah, there, there, there would be a massive Conservative white power. But all the journalists seemed to care about was this. Some people think you're a bit boring. You have in the past, and I apologise for saying so, been called boring. Are you boring or are you more exciting? Is it actually time for Mr Boring? Yeah. <laughs> I'd take Mr Boring over Mrs Batchit. <laughs> Besides, if they want a bit of chaos, Angela Rayner had an absolutely mental alternative to Prime Minister's questions. Instead of PMQs, Drunk PMQs shots. Yeah, <laughs> Bobs. Yes. How many Jaeger Bobs Is can that what you, you do? Get, do you like a Jaeger Bob? I can do a Jaeger Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a Jaeger, mate. No problem. I can line them up. Man. It's Parliament, not Falaraki. <laughs> Instead of here, here, she wants him to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> The last thing we need is pissed MPs. Have you seen how they behave when they're sober? <laughs> Did the Honourable Lady just call me scum? He's a disgrace! I'm going to shut up and get up! Mate. If they're on Jaeger bombs, next time Rhys Mogg falls asleep, he'll end up looking like this. 